Problem 12-20, we're going to be switching between degrees and radians from the given information. So the first one, we're looking at 108 degrees, and we want to switch that one to radians. There are multiple ways we can do this, but the way I'm going to show it on here is using the idea of a giant one. So we know that on the unit circle, right over here is 180 degrees, or pi radians. Those are equivalent. So I'm going to use that idea. And 180 degrees over pi radians actually now is a giant one because they are equal to each other. So if I look at 108 degrees, that means if I want the degrees to cancel out, I'm going to have 108 degrees, and I'm going to multiply that now by 180 degrees over, or underneath, and, and pi radians in the top. The degrees will cancel out, and now I will have 108 pi over 180. Once I have that, all I need to do is reduce. So I can take both of these and divide them. I can, I can tell right away at least they're both even numbers, so I could divide them both by 2. So 54 pi over 90. I know I can divide them by 2 again and get 27 pi over 45. These can actually now be divided by 3. And if I divide them both by, actually I can divide them both by 9 rather. So I'll get 3 pi over 5. And that's my final answer for the first one, 3 pi over 5. Now when I divided all those in multiple steps, there was a larger number I could take out right away, but if you don't recognize it right away, that's okay. You can always do it step by step as long as you don't stop until the final answer. Let's look at problem B. If I have 320 degrees, I'm going to multiply it by again. I'm going to put the 180 degrees in the denominator so the degrees will cancel. This means I have pi in the numerator. So now I have 320 pi over 180. I know they both end in 0, so I know I can take a 10 out of both of them. So I'll divide them both by 10 and get 32 pi over 18. From there, I'm going to reduce them both by 2, so I'll get 16 pi over 9. That's as far as you can go, so 320 degrees is 16 pi over 9. Let's look at problem C. 7 pi over 9. Now I have my radians in the numerator, so to cancel that out, I'm going to put the radians in the denominator. The pi's make a giant 1, so my radians are now gone. I also can reduce 180 and 9, so I can divide that. That becomes a 1. This becomes a 20. So now I have 7 times 20, and I, that gives me 140, and I still have the degree symbol, so it's 140 degrees. Let's take a look at problem D. 19 pi over 12, so again, I'm going to put the pi in the denominator to make your giant 1, and my 180 in the numerator. So 12 and 180, I can reduce that. I know that I can divide them both by uh, at least 4. I'll put a 3 down here, and if I divide that one by 4, 